somewhere across the Strait of Messina lies Sicily. We have just driven 400 kilometers with seemingly never-ending stretches of roadworks. Plans are to eventually continue the motorway with a bridge to the island of Sicily. But after 40 years, the section between Salerno and Reggio de Calabria still isn't finished. The project is costing the Italian government millions, and the Mafia is making a lot of money from the building work. The new bridge would provide a faster route for transporting both freight and passengers between Calabria and Sicily. Currently, the only way across the strait is by ferry. The local fishermen aren't impressed by the plans to build a bridge. They don't see how it will benefit the region. Hopefully they won't go ahead. Knowing Italy, the bridge will never be finished. All it means for us is chaos, just like on the Salerno-Reggio di Calabria highway. After lining up and boarding the ferry, the crossing takes almost an hour, traffic permitting. Trucks at least have their own ferry service, they carry machinery and consumer electronics to Sicily and fruit and vegetables bound for the mainland. For some drivers, the crossing is a welcome break, although others see it as yet another delay after an endless day on the road. Advocates of the bridge stress the economic benefits for Sicily. Bridges have a massive impact on the labor market. New companies, new hotels, like in El Dorado. You'll have 60 million Italians wanting to visit the bridge. Plus people from Europe, the U.S. and Japan. After all, this will be the longest suspension bridge in the world. Antonino Carlarco has campaigned for the bridge for decades. He shows us the diagrams of his favorite bridge designs from the 1970s. As well as a photo of himself with Silvio Berlusconi, who declared the bridge a priority back in 1994. It's thanks to Badasconi that the projects come this far. And this is what this marvel of engineering would look like, spanning a distance of some 3.3 kilometers, twice as long as the longest suspension bridge to date. The chief engineer can barely hide his excitement when showing us the model. The bridge will boost the economy and be a massive improvement for locals. Until now, Sicily has been on the periphery of Europe and at a disadvantage to the prosperous north. This new transportation route will change that. Gaetano Giunta, a former local councillor, isn't convinced. He says the reluctance by major investors to get involved speaks volumes. Italians are paying for the planning and preliminary building work. That's two billion euros that the government has already committed itself to, but it's bound to remain unfinished, a product of pure speculation. He shows us a computer image of what critics say the bridge will look like, a concrete monolith, a blot on the landscape, and an ideal money laundering opportunity for the Mafia. Here in Sicily, the Mafia makes money from construction work, the cement and concrete, and through bogus companies. And organized crime practically has a monopoly on the construction industry in Calabria as well. The company in charge of the project, however, insists it will do all in its power to exclude the Mafia. A new wonder of the world should here arise. The Bridge of Messina will be the biggest one of its kind in the world. A bridge which should unify, but still on the paper is continuing only to divide. Because either in Sicily, then on the other side in Calabria, there is no consensus about the positive and negative effects of this project. 
Another concern cited by critics is the impact on nature. In protest, Renato Acquarenti once chained himself to a 240 meter high electricity pylon. But his efforts were to no avail. The two bridge pillars in Sicily and Calabria will be twice that height. It will destroy the landscape here in southern Italy, of all places, in one of the most beautiful places Mother Nature gave us. But the bridge builders say southern Italy needs better transport links. And work is set to commence before the year is out.